Hey guys, uh, today's video we're going to go over domain and range again. Uh, we're going to focus on continuous graphs. So for domain, what you need to do is scan your pencil from the left to the right along the x-axis. Remember, domain deals with x's. For range, you're going to scan your pencil from the bottom to the top along the y-axis because range goes up and down. Now let's look at this first one. Scanning from left to right, if I look at the left side, I've got this arrow. Remember, when you see an arrow, that means it continues, so there's no break. So it goes to like negative infinity. Scanning to the right, I have an arrow on the right side. So whenever something goes from negative infinity to positive infinity, we use this symbol, which means all real numbers. Now, let's look at the, the y-axis, scan from the bottom to the top. Scanning from the bottom, boom, it stops going down right here. Now, if I look going up, this arrow continues. This arrow continues. So the y values is going to keep going forever, but it's going to stop right here at negative 1, negative 2. So we're just comparing our y's to negative 2. Remember, if there's one stop, there's only one symbol. Are my y's bigger or smaller than negative 2? Good, they are bigger. So make sure you open up to the y. Now something, and I'm not sure if we've talked about it yet, if it's part of the line and there's no open circle on it, then it is considered included. So take this symbol and we're going to underline it. It can be an or equal to. So y's are greater than or equal to negative 2. That's our range. Good. Now, let's look at number 2. For the domain, we just look at the x values. So scan left to right. So scanning on the left, boom, this is where it starts. Scanning to the right, boom, this is where it stops. If it helps, what you can do when you're doing domain or range is get two little tiles or two pieces to just look left and right. So on the left, this one only goes to negative 1, 2, 3. And on the right, this stops at 1, 2, 3. So it goes between negative 3 and positive 3. With domain, you're comparing x's. If there's two stops, you're going to have two symbols. So from negative 3 to x to positive 3. Now, I don't see a break. I don't see an open hole. So this symbol is included. And that's it. Let's look at the range. Scan from the bottom to the top. Well, it has a stop right here at negative 1, 2, 3. And it's got to stop there at 1, 2, positive 3. So, just like the range, the domain will go from negative 3 to positive 3. This time we're comparing it to y, because remember, range compares the y's. Our symbols are still going to be the same, and since it's part of the line, it's included. All right, let's look at number three now. On number three, if you look and we do our domain first, let's go left to right. What's on the left side? An arrow. What's on the right side? An arrow. Whenever you see that it continues forever, it doesn't stop, then you know it's all real numbers. If you're having trouble making this symbol, then just write out all real numbers and that'll be fine. Now for our range, scan from the bottom to the top. Well, on the bottom, I have an arrow going down. At the top, I've got an arrow going up. So this goes down forever and up forever. So this one is also all real numbers. Now before we move on, I want you to compare number one and number three. Both of them have arrows on the end, but these arrows both go up. These arrows, one goes up and one goes down. That's why the range here stopped at negative 2, and it was the values above negative 2, and the range here continues going forever. Just because your domain is all real numbers or your range is all real numbers, it may change the other one, okay? So you've got to look at both.
Now, I'm going to put a pause here and we'll make the next video. Just trying to keep them short.